Hola, que tal? My name is Bria, and today we're doing a productive day in my life. Maybe weekend in my life. We'll see. But yeah, I got a lot going on that I need to get done, get together. So I'm going to have a full list of things that you got to do today. So I have yoga. I need to do some stretches. I am about to start my Spanish class, and I have a presentation in my Spanish class. I'm so excited. I love my Spanish class. I love presentations. I love Spanish. All that good stuff. And then I need to return some library books. I need to call my family. I have four people to call. <laughs> and then I have to do some cleaning and planning because I am running a 15K, which is like nine miles in January. So I have to schedule just for this next week, figure out when I'm running and where. So that way I, it's like, um, I don't know. Don't have to think about it then and just guarantee that I'm gonna go. And then, oh, I need to work on my database just briefly. I'm working on the Excel uh, version, which is like, so tedious I didn't realize but working on the Excel version of my database for black sport black sports women black women athletes and yeah just putting everything together because if you've watched any of my videos you know I'm a little you know it can get a little chaotic sometimes so I'm putting it all in one place so that's all good to go and then all of that's kind of gonna be spread out and have like different very short time frames but I'm doing all of that today but lastly, I'm going to watch Enola Holmes, the new Enola Holmes, because I love the first one. So I'm very excited to watch the Enola Holmes, uh, what's it called? The new movie, I guess is the sequel that came out on Netflix yesterday. So I'm very excited about all that. So just wanted to introduce all the things that I'm attempting to do today and this weekend. I have to do my hair this weekend, but I'm not doing that today. But anyway, just want to introduce all the things that I'm trying to get into today. So now I can take you along with me. So. Let's do it. So I finished class. So after classes, I don't like to review immediately after because, well, for a couple of reasons, I'm not gonna review immediately after. One, I like to let it settle in and then review like later, like before I go to sleep, because I don't know, reviewing it right now is not gonna, to me, it doesn't really help until like I step away and then come back because even if I step away, even if I review it right now, I would still need to step away and come back because I'd like, it just wasn't, I kind of just won't, it won't settle in that way. But also because we're doing a fun thing and I like admitted to my teacher, I was like, I'm really enjoying this. I'm like, I'm like, am I having too much fun? You know, like, is this allowed? Like, so that's another reason I don't necessarily need to really go hardcore with reviewing right now because this is more of a fun thing and it's meant to like, learn while and practice like the past tense and do all kind of things while working on it so i'm gonna say calm plus i have my bowl with my words that i um i pick and i you know try to remember like there's spanish on the front english on the back and then when i pick a word i add another sentence to my book and with that, I do need to change the format of my book because right now I only have room for one sentence and I need to have room for multiple sentences. But that's the beauty of having a book that I have created on my own, a vocab book or my dictionary, which I've added some stickers to. So yeah, that's a little update on my Spanish and you ever just been so turned. So later today, I'll review the things that we went through in class but also the things that we went through, like my homework that, or my, like, it's like a homework, but like a little mini essay that I wrote that will, I'll like try to remember the, just make sure I remember these concepts, got these concepts uh, at least familiarized that I didn't forget that I ever heard it. So anyway, that's enough rambling and gonna go get started with the rest of my day. So yeah, so we're on the way to Starbucks and yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna start the day with Starbucks instead and the fall 
no it's the holiday drinks have come out and i'm gonna get the sugar cookie drink if they still have it uh i don't know i'm of the experiences where i don't know i don't like to get my hopes up because they may be out as soon as it comes out but yeah so cruising and then when i get back i'm gonna continue on with my very productive saturday and weekend all right so i have my coffee and i'll be honest i'm just glad that this is free but like they filled up like only like 75 percent of my cup so i'm a very uh annoyed about that like look look at this like you see like i haven't taken a sip yet and i'm like so i'm not one of those people this i'm not in that era of my life where i'm like hey can you do this um but yeah so i was able to use a gift card for like i had a gift card and i have points and stuff so it wasn't like i used money for this cup but it's just like gosh it's disappointing but on the flip side the latte smells delicious i got the sugar cookie latte with soy milk it smells amazing I am not going to taste it yet because it's probably super hot. Well, shoot, I don't know if it's going to be super hot because I have nothing in it. <laughs> so let's taste it. It's really good, though. So it's really good. It's really good. Like, it's... Oh, it tastes like a sugar cookie latte. Like, it tastes like a sugar cookie melted over milk. It's not coffee. It's a sugar cookie. <laughs> So I still have a point to where I am getting, like I'll be able to get another free drink. But other than that, I think I might switch. Well, I mean, I go to my local coffee. There's not a Starbucks near me. I go to my local coffee shop and I always get whatever their seasonal drink is. So right now it's candy corn. So I, whatever their holiday drink is, I'll stick with them because they fill my cup up all the way. It gets heavy, okay? So yeah. That's my little update. I'm like, it's like bittersweet. Like this is actually super delicious. Like what a delicious treat. But at the same time, it's like, they gave me nothing in this cup. So back to my other place. But yeah, so now I'm curious about what my local coffee shop will be doing for holiday, winter, seasonal drinks. Uh, but yeah, I can't pretend like that this sugar cookie latte isn't actually amazing. But so that's my piece. Now we will continue with the rest of the uh the productive weekend I didn't show you the before product, but this is the finished product of my desk. It looks so much better. Like, I'm excited. And I put my race up here because, so this is my race, the 15K that we'll be doing in January. And I did that because, I did that because I like to have multiple reminders, but also I just put in our, the running schedule for the next three weeks. So up until Thanksgiving, I have when we'll be running. So and where but if we change it we change it but just to have one less thing to worry about like at minimum we'll be going to the track and if not we'll just run like on the streets around us but so let me skip put that and then also i have to change my plans for tomorrow so we're in the vaccine tomorrow but also before we get the vaccine you need to go grocery shopping so need to work on a grocery list which means i need to figure out meals for the week so let me do meals for the week. Honestly, I'm getting so much stuff done, but I'm starting to get to feel a little tired. So we're supposed to be going to get Chipotle. I love Chipotle. We just, we're supposed to be going to get Chipotle in a few minutes. So instead of what I was gonna do, I was so I was actually about to start working on the database and knocking that thing out. But instead of kind of like pushing through, I'm gonna take a break and try to work on the database after 
I do some fun things like eat Chipotle, but also read a little bit, which I am currently read. I'll tell you what I'm currently reading shortly. But so yeah, I'm gonna eat Chipotle, read a little bit, and I wanna watch Enola Holmes. <sighs> Don't know if we will though, because football is on and I wanna watch it together because we both loved it. <laughs> so, and the football, is this, this is like the American football, so it's not the football that I love. So I don't wanna watch it. So I'm currently, this is like halfway through, 40% through The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I'm enjoying it. I'm not obsessed with it, but it's cute. I like it. I like the characters. I like the, I love the audiobook. The audiobook is full cast. So this, the book is about Nobody Owens who grew up in a graveyard. He's raised by these people that are in the graveyard. And his guardian, guardian is like part of the living world, but also it's like, he's, he's like a blend of like the living and the dead. And he can't leave the graveyard because he's in danger of the people that killed his parents. And the reason he's in the graveyard in the first place, very interesting, but I don't know. I think the, I think there's two things about it. I feel like on one hand, audio, the audiobook is so well done. It makes it more interesting. Like I feel like the accents, the pronunciations, like everything is like, I wouldn't have come up with these things myself and it's making me enjoy it more. Like I just feel like I'm exactly where Neil Gaming wanted to place me. But at the same time, it's kind of like, just like a, I feel like it's a coming of age, like a uh, bod is just going through these like um kind of like the hobbit he's going through these different levels and you see how he's just growing as a boy and i don't know i don't know how i feel about it it's like i like it but i'm not obsessed with it which is not a requirement for enjoyment but these are just like my current thoughts so i also have been trying to figure out what classic i want to read next like i feel like i'm really in the mood for a classic like i started reading mary bratton Mary Elizabeth Braddon, Lady Audley's Secret, which is like a suspenseful thriller novel. And it's like about like, it's Victorian era, but it's about this woman. I think somebody ends up dead and they're trying, it's like this woman has a secret and this is somehow involved. But then also there is, I started, also started reading The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, which is interesting because I also was just learning about La Llorona. It's like, basically the Mexican woman in white. And yeah, so anyway, the woman in white still don't really have a full grasp on it enough to relay it, I feel like accurately. But basically it's about this, the woman in white in general as a concept seems to be about this woman who is like um, scary, sad, but like there's like a reason like this like is a woman who is like has gone through so much and she seems like on the outside seems scary but she really is just like suffering in some way this again like i said it may not be completely accurate but let's look it up because why well, guess when the internet can tell us what is the concept of the woman in what no 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 in literature No, 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 no. Okay, so we can't look because, okay, so actually we're not gonna look because a lot of, I had to like move my eyes quickly to avoid like too much detail of the story. So that's just what I think it, I'll just say that's what I think it is. But either way, I'm reading this right now and whatever classic I end up picking up, I'll let you know. But I'm also, I've also moved back nonfiction wise I moved back to reading Silver Sword and Stone by Ma Marie Arana, Three Crucibles of the Latin American Story. And this is basically, I started reading this the summertime, springtime. And it's basically a book about nonfiction by the woman who wrote the Bolivar history. History. The first, like where, where we are right now is basically to start the book, it's like pre-Columbian history of the region so like what was it before which is of course like the history but it's like what was it before to to give the history that I really feel like you have to look hard for I really um I'm very interested to learn more about this so yeah that's what I got going on right now um and I'll catch you up later after my break is done but let me put these back before it gets dirty all over again
So I have my tea and I'm about to get back to work. So I've actually had a great afternoon and evening. I watched Coco, which I loved. I loved um, on Disney and I started listening to the soundtrack and having a great time. So what I need to do now is work on the grocery list because to be honest, I thought I would work on it while I was watching Coco, but I did not. But I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna work on my grocery list because I'm going to the store in the morning and I don't need that much stuff, but I need enough to not eat out again for the rest of the week. Um, like you see it with the Starbucks too, but like every time I eat out, it always is like, it, it costs money. But like, I think what is the thing that bothers me more is that it's like, I always end up disappointed and I'm like, who wants that? So also update on my reading. I was looking at Silver Sword and Stone and I was looking at my previous notes because I was flipping through and and I took like I have this note here it was just talking about how the all the way the author is trying uh trying to dethrone Europe's authority and reclaim the narrative of the indigenous story in the region and the way that we think about indigenous specifically in the Americas but just in Latin America in the context of like the book that's about the Latin American story. But talk about, class about, about the way we classify it in our mind, the way that we think about it. Um, because for, mo for the most part, um, I'll at least speak for myself actually, like in my schooling, like it's definitely everything that we're taught, that we were taught in my school at least, like even the words that we use, it's like in favor of the Europeans, the people that came over here, um, in this instance, it would be the Spanish, but this book is like, at least the start of this book is talking about the people that were here first. No, the thing I really want to learn about this book is the indigenous history. And I'm getting a lot of that. I have the audiobook for this, but right now I don't want to do the audiobook for this because I'm doing things that I need. Um, I really want, like, I need like a, a chill. Ooh, I need to be reading something that I can have like more of a passive relationship with. So I'm gonna continue the audiobook for this, the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman, while I work on my grocery list, while I work on the database, while I do some of these things that aren't necessarily exciting, but I definitely need to do. I'm gonna drink my tea and vlog the process. So <sighs> I'm feeling good. I'm actually having a really good day. Coco really gave me a serotonin boost kind of wanted to cry too. We've got a grocery list to make. I did everything on my to-do list. Actually, the only thing I didn't do on my to-do list for the day was, I didn't do yoga, which I'm gonna stretch before I go to bed. Does it count? Yes, it counts. I'm gonna stretch before I go to bed. <laughs> I am, I didn't watch Enola Holmes, but I watched Coco. So they gave me my good vibes for today. I'm just writing over Coco and Little Home so I can check it off. So I didn't walk like in the, I, I feel like I did a lot today, but I didn't walk and I didn't return my library books. That's fine. <laughs> Overall, I'm very proud of myself. So I'm just gonna make sure I know exactly what I wanna do for tomorrow put that on my list and then go to bed. It's 9.30, so I'm gonna definitely just continue relaxing, but I'm very happy with how today, how today went. And I definitely have the vlog to thank for that. 
because I don't know why right doing these vlogs makes it just so much easier to get things done so first thing is the most important thing I need to do today tomorrow is to do my hair like very important and then uh, oh do groceries make groceries do groceries and then make at least one of those meals one or two I don't know and make at least one and we'll see how I feel after that And then I have leftovers from today anyway. And then, is that it? So tomorrow's gonna be a definitely a heavy reading day. I'm gonna do another 30 minutes of, of database entry. Very small while I listen to a podcast or audiobook. So I'm just gonna say, Pick one Spanish task. So tomorrow I actually have a lot I want to do, but at the same time, it's way less. So of course, do my hair, do my groceries, make one of the meals, do 30 minutes of database entry. Today I did like 45 minutes, close to an hour. And I just say pick one of my Spanish tasks. So it really just depends on what I feel like doing tomorrow. And I have a... <laughs> A list of things to choose from that I really want to do like I want to write a review of a book I want to there's Spanish news I can read um, and I, I have to share a script for a video I want to write in Spanish so other things I want to do so I just put pick one Spanish task and I'll just decide tomorrow what I actually feel like that is what I want it to be because I also have the Spanish homework but I have a week to do that and I'll kind of like just take a break from it um, and get back to it on Monday. So that's not bad. So I can spend the rest of the day relaxing, reading, doing whatever. So what a productive day we've had so far. So if I don't end up in it filming tomorrow, which I feel like I'm not going to, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and having playing a big part in helping me have a productive Saturday and I hope you have a great evening, day, morning, weekend, whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!